Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate. How are you doing today? Today is Friday. Today is awesomeness. And it's going to be a little bit of Lumber Tycoon 2. But here's the catch. I'm not actually going to be playing Lumber Tycoon 2. I'm going to be showing you how to do some automation. Now, I had a question, and it really bugged me that I got this question. But somebody asked me, Code, are you exploiting to, to breathe underwater? No. I'm not. Some, somebody saw that I'd hit a button and all of a sudden my screen locked and that's how I did the thing. So I wanted to show you what this is real quick, okay? So let's bust over to studio mode. This way you can see my whole screen and see what's going on, okay? So this right here, this is Roblox, okay? I can, I can jump around, I can do all kinds of fun. Now, when you take your mouse and you right click on the top right here, it has this little context menu. But if you're jumping or doing an action and then you right click on it, it locks the screen, okay? And you can do that for a good 60 seconds before it kicks you out of the game. Now, it just continues on where it was. That's how Jack is getting to the, the Palm Islands. That's how I was getting to the Palm Islands. The only difference is I wanna to talk to the camera. And I'm really bad at timing this just right. So I'm gonna show you the way that I did it in my video in the background. And hopefully you learn some cool things because this is gonna be a programming video on how to program a bot for Roblox Lumber Tycoon 2. It's not exploiting. I wanna make that clear. There's a big difference in between taking a program and injecting a DLL to allow you to do something that you're not able to do on your own. This is simply doing keyboard clicks, mice clicks, uh, typing. It's doing everything that a human can do, only with a more precise precision thingy. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do, okay, um, if we look at the context of, I don't need that, I need tab, there we go, of what I need to do. I need to be able to move, okay, and then at a specific time, come up here and right click on the bar, hold it for exactly 40 seconds, 45 seconds, and then let go and get rid of that context menu. So those are the two things I need to do. I need to be able to right click, count a timer, let go. So let's create a script. Uh, first things first, let's put a comment in here. I'm gonna make this really big so you guys can see it. This is a script to lock the screen for 45 seconds on Lumber Tycoon 2 in Roblox. That's a lot of explanation. I hope you guys followed along with that. If you guys don't know what this program is, this is called AutoIt. Uh, well, specifically this program is called ScriptIt, which is made where you make scripts for AutoIt programs. It's an automation program that can do basically everything that a mouse and keyboard can do. If you can do it with a mouse and keyboard, this can do it on the screen. So uh, first things the first, we need to define some hotkeys. So hotkey set, and let's make it F1. And we're going to call that as a function, lock it. And then we're going to set another hotkey. I'm gonna set this to F2. Now I don't expect you to actually follow along uh, unless you want to. And uh, we're just going to call this my exit. Because there's there's always a problem whenever you have to do like an exit program thingy. So um first things first function my exit. No quotes. And we're just going to do a uh, MSG box. Zero for the flag title um exiting the program will now exit. Perfect. And then we can just do a in funk right there. So what that will do is every anytime I hit the F2 key, a message box will pop up and say now exiting and I actually have to put in the word exit, which will close the program itself. Um, next, I'm going to create a function. Function, what do we call it? Lock it. No quotes. Um, okay, so I need to find the Roblox window. So, and I actually need to get the position. So I'm, I'm going to put dollar sign, which stands for a variable. I think it's string variable. It could be, 
is it a pound? No, dollar sign. And we're gonna call it um, Roblox Win Pose, like that. Hi, Mr. Coffee Bean, I didn't see you in here. Hey, look everyone. Hi, Mr. Coffee Bean. It looks a little stretched just because the, the window's small. Hi, buddy. Hold on. Hiya. <laughs> Don't help me on this base. Smiley face. I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> okay, so what we need to do is we need to, he's like, how are you? I'm good, I'm, I'm really good, Mr. Coffee Bean. So what we need to do is we need to click up here in the title bar. In order to do that, I need to know where that window is. So the Roblox win pose is equal to win get pose. And then we need um, the title, which is Roblox, I think. Is that right? Yeah, the title of the window uh, up here at the top. If you don't know what that is, you can always do this. Win info, no, type it up, info. Auto it info. Take this little finder tool and drag it up here, boom. And it'll tell you the title of the, this program is called uh, Roblox. The class is called Windows Client. That's the position, that's the size, okay? so. In here, um, if I remember right, this returns, what else, what else can I do inside this thing? Do I just need the title? I think I just need the title. I could do some optional text, I don't need it. Uh, so the Roblox win pose, um, I'll put a comment in here. Uh, zero equals X pose, uh, one equals Y pose, um, two equals width, and three equals height. So whenever you get this back, it's actually going to be four different things. This this returns an array. That's a really long thing. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna say win pose, win pose. So if I wanted to reference the x position, I could say win pose um, zero, and that would be equal to the x position on the screen of that window. Okay, makes sense. Clear as mud. Good. Um, here, I'm gonna make this a little bit easier to read. And I'm not planning on sharing this code, so if you want this for yourself, you're gonna have to download AutoIt and you're gonna have to type it all in yourself. I will not provide this code for you guys. Um, next, we need to click, we need to right click on the top. So let's do mouse down, mouse down. And then it's going to be right. Oh, I guess we need to move move the mouse, don't we? Mouse move, mouse move. The X position, we want it to be, okay, so X. It's, it's going to be at the left. So it's going to be, okay, win pose zero. So that'll put it up at the top left-hand side of that screen plus Win pose width, which is two, divided by two. So basically, okay, so the mouse is gonna come over here to this point, but I'm not gonna right click on the top left hand side. I need to right click in the middle, right? So we need the width divided by two should be in the middle. So the, the left position plus half the window should be right in the middle of the screen. That should, be the X position. Now if I hit comma, what do we need here? Um, this is going to be win pose, and we're going to do the Y position, which is one, and plus what, 10, 10 pixels? And then mouse down right. And then we can do sleep, whoa, sleep and how long. So the sleep delay is in milliseconds. So if I wanted 45 seconds, I would say 4500, 4,500 milliseconds. So we're gonna wait for 45 seconds. And then we need to mouse click, uh, left button, it's gonna be a left click. And the position is going to be, hold on, does it need to be left? Yeah, there we go. The position is going to be win pose, pose, 
X. Oh, I guess it's zero. I did that wrong up here. Hold on. I did X. I need zero. Win pose zero. Plus half win pose two. Half the width. Plus. So we're just going to click on the middle of the screen. And then for the Y position, one pose two, no, one, which is the Y position, plus um, dollar sign, Ooh. win, pose. Oh no, we oofed. Three divided by two. So, okay, all this is saying is go to the top left hand side, go halfway, go halfway, click in the middle of the screen. So, that should be good. Um, 45 seconds and in function. I think that's all we need. Now, will this end if I just run it? Oh, I guess I need to save it as something. So I'm gonna save it as Roblox uh, Lumber Tycoon Type 2. Lumber Tycoon 2 Lock Bar. Just call it Lock Bar. Lock Lock title bar, lock title bar, that sounds good. Okay, so I'm gonna hit F8 so we can see the output down here at the bottom, this this little window right here. We hit F5, and it exited, why did it exit? Oh, it's because we don't have a loop. While, sleep, no, while, wait, sleep, 100 milliseconds. Um, do events. Do I need to do events? I guess not. Sleep will, will do it for us. End. No, w end. So, basically this will start a loop down there at the bottom so it, it shouldn't stop. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> While wow, true. There we go. There we go. Now we have an infinite loop actually going on down here. And you can't see anything, but I guess, I guess, uh, what was it, F1? So it right clicked up there. And I think that, yeah. Oh. Oh, that's only 4.5 seconds, not 45 seconds. Oh, geez. Okay, so F2 should exit the program. Program will not exit. Awesome. Uh oh. Are we locked up? Something locked up. That was horrible. Okay, let's go back over here to Roblox. Did it not actually end? It didn't exit, did it? Oh, no, we didn't click on it. There we go. Now it exited. See the exit code down here? Exited true. So, okay, so we should be able to do this from anywhere. Um, let's hit F5, start running it, and it's going to be F2 to make it work. So jump F2. Oh, no, 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 F2 closes it. Dang it. All right, F5, we're gonna run it. F1 makes it happen. Okay, that was a bit slow. Why was it slow? Oh, I remember. We need it to happen instantaneously. We need it to not. Okay. Right here, comma, zero. No delay. Get straight up there and then right click. Uh, let's see, F2 to exit, okay, F5 to run, here we go, F1, there we go, two, three, four, five. I guess I need to do a mouse up, don't I? Okay, so. F1, no, F2 to exit the program. There we go. So, um, instead of just a left click, we're going to mouse up right. Mouse up right. There we go. Spread it out a little bit, make it, make it cleaner. I wish there was a dark mode on here. Is there a dark mode? I, I don't know. It's just really really weird hold on is there preferences do we have preferences view parameters 
tools, previous message, options, where's dark mode? Dark mode, read only, wrapping, yeah, we'll find it later. It's fine. Uh, for now, let's do this. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm gonna build on my base, okay? Okay, you go do it. So, this should, okay, that's my rookie X. Um, I'm going to throw down my rookie X right here. There you go. Hey, code question. Yeah, what's up? Yeah. What's up? While he's answering, we're going to go ahead and run this real quick. Uh, jump F1. It's locked. After 4.5 seconds, it should let go. Hey. Hey. That's awesome. Okay. So that's only for 4.5 seconds. We need to... I pressed F2 and exited. Let's move this up to 45 seconds. It's going to be a bit rough, but it should allow us to get to where we need to go. So, on your base, would an alt account be considered helping your uh, as helping your main if you controlled it? Yeah, I've done that with. Sam, her life. Ah, okay. I was curious. <laughs> okay, so uh, what was it? The command is F1. So let's go over here. F5. We're now running. Who? I need to go buy a. Uh, I will buy. I will purchase. A silver axe for 2,000, please. 2,000. Boop. Hello. <coughs> Buy a silver axe? Yes. Thank you. No, thank you. Because that's that's going to be a lifesaver. Now, uh, granted, this video is only 17 minutes long right, right now. But, I mean, it's, a, it's about to get more interesting in just a second, I promise. Why is that down? I didn't do it. I didn't do that. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, he's going the distance. I can't see the, the things. All right. There goes my life. F1. We're on red. Do you see the life up there? So it should wait for 45 seconds. Release. And then I should be able to continue on. But we just have to wait for 45 seconds. And there's no warning to it either. Maybe we should uh, make the window flash or something like that. Maybe? What do you think? Should I put tags in this one? Like, hacking tags? I wonder if it would get more views. Even though technically it's... Well, you are code hacking. You're, you're programming. Which programming I consider to be hacking. If you're a programmer, you're a hacker. But no, what I'm doing right now is not considered an exploit. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Ooh, that was getting close. Look at that. Look at that life right there. Oh, my God, no. Oh. Ooh. Maybe I could set up an automatic trigger to look up there at the pixel and see if it's red. If it is red, then we automatically... Uh, we automatically hit that button for 45 seconds. And with this method, I don't have to worry about the menu getting in the way. I don't have to worry about letting go of the W key. It just works. Oh my goodness. Now, um, Defaultio, if you're watching this right now, I do have a way that you can fix this if you want to contact me via DMs, but it's up to you. It's only if you want to. Now. I'm really excited that people have found a way to do this. Like, to drive under the water and to get around the, the script. That is brilliance right there. Gotta keep an eye on that, uh, that life, though. It hits red, you hit F1. If it's red, hit F1. That's gonna be a slogan. In fact, I'm gonna make a t-shirt out of that. If it's red, hit F1. F1 usually means help. It's like a, it's like the universal help context window of most things, of most programs. Like if you need help with a program, hit F1 and see what happens. I think even Roblox has that. 
Ooh, should we switch the buttons around? I wonder if I should make F2 the actual key and F1 the, like, escape key or something. The exit. Ooh, we're almost there. We're almost there. Look at that. That that didn't take long, you know? What are you doing, code for your vid? <laughs> oh, coffee bean, if you only knew, sir. Oh, if you only knew. If the coffee only knew that I was trying to program things. Now, um, real quick, if you are a parent or if you're a child who wants to get into programming later, I highly recommend going and checking out UiPath. UiPath. It is like one of the leading RPA development programs. I don't know if that's like... 100% true, but that's the, the program that I use for automations at work. And trust me, the demand is high. Go learn UiPath because the learning is free. Now, if you want to get certified and all that stuff, then you got to go do more. But uh, the program I'm using right now, AutoIt, go check that out. It is free. It's easy to learn. It's, uh, it's basically, it's like a visual basic programming language but it can go into so much depth it uses a lot of api calls and a lot of dll files that are inside native to windows itself if you're on mac there's other programs that you can use besides these to do automation programs uh i think uipath is uh hey we made it sweet <laughs> that is so cool that is so cool. Look at that. I'm on the island. No bridge needed. Jack, huge shout out to you, buddy. Huge shout out to Jack for, for realizing the dream. I had mentioned it to him at one time, and I would mentioned this before in the past, but I didn't think it was actually possible. What are you doing for the code video? What are you, what are you doing for the vid, code? I'm at Palms. I showed the fans how to program a auto it script so they can get here easily without fear of death or oof or oof <laughs> So I don't know, do you want to call this a Lumber Tycoon 2 video? Do you want to call this a programming video? Whatever the category is, whatever it falls under, it's for you. It's uh, to, to get back into a little bit of programming because I haven't been doing a bunch of programming on my, my channel at all. So, uh, hi dad, shout out to you. Cause I know you're watching, yeah. And this is, this is what your son does. <laughs> Plays video games and creates external programs to uh, to click the mouse and keyboard for him. Which is, I don't know, that's kind of cool. There's another triple. Okay, so I, I did a tweet the other day of a triple palm tree. Now, I don't remember seeing triples before, but triples are in the game now. So I don't I don't know, did I just not pay attention to them? Or I, I bet I just didn't pay attention. That's all it is. Anyhow, we got some palm wood, we're going to palm tree. Ooh, should we try and go into the, uh, the other palms, like one of the ones that's way over there. Let's do it. I'll, I'll grab these two trees. I want to try and get to that island over there, okay? Because uh, normally, you can't build a bridge to that island. So the fact that we can get to it now, driving underwater. What what should the title of this this video be? I don't know. Driving underwater, driving to palm woods, driving something palm bridge, driving hackery. No, we're not, don't don't use hack. I'll I'll use hack in the tags, but it's not hacking. I mean, it's technically hacking. It's not it's not hacking. Is it hacking? Girl, I'm not gonna do it. Don't do it, girl. I did it. <laughs> okay, let's get this lined up, and off we go. Uh oh, there's a Java update. Gotta get them Java updates done. Okay, what what was it? It was F1, right? All right, right wait till it's red. Boom! F1. Oh, F1! F1! Oh! Oh! 
see that life? <laughs> oh my gosh. Why did it mess up like that? I don't know. I don't know why it messed up. Oh, that was scary. I was like that scared. So scared. How do you make it? Um, hmm. I think I have to use an info loop. Otherwise, the program ends, right? Is there any way to go into a wait state? I wonder. Hmm. 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 Maybe. Anyhow, it's a Friday. I hope you had a good good week. I know I had a I had a really good week. We had a, a lot of fun. Ooh, what is going on here? That's really loud and annoying. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna try and correct this. Why why is this doing weirdness here? Wait for it. Is it because I hit it twice? I tried doing a double a double click. Okay, get ready. Get ready. Can we do it again immediately after it releases? I wonder. Oh, I can. Okay, so I don't have to wait for it to actually go red. I can just hit it again and it still works. That's cool. I mean, kind of. But you gotta be careful because if you if you do it too fast, it would still it would tank out and, and disconnect you. You gotta make sure you do it just right. All right, here we go. Once I once I unlock, I'm going to zoom out. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let go. Let go. Is it because I was right clicking at the same time I hit the button? Maybe. 45 seconds, and good. Uh oh. Uh oh. No! What in the world happened? <laughs> oh! I made it all the way over there. Are you kidding me? No! I made it all the way to the banks. Oh, I gotta, I gotta go see. I gotta go look. Oh wait, is that that's the wrong truck? I bet, I bet you anything. Am I gonna be able to pick this up? I'm not gonna be able to pick this stuff up, am I? Hmm. Okay, let's turn the lights on. Turn the radio on. I should be able to get it. I mean, we're right there next to the the thing, right? Yeah, there we are. We just have to we have to wait for the thing, you know. This is going to be very hard to like maneuver and turn and grab grab my stuff, but we can we can wait down here for like forty five seconds. Oh. We need to put a warning timer. Like, hey, hey, I'm about to unlock. You know? Can we do that? I wonder. I wonder if I can do that. Hmm. Am I going to be able to pick this uh, this log up and put it in the back of the truck? Hmm. I don't want to click anything. I don't. I don't want to click yet. Okay, can we can we grab that? Can we grab that? Ooh. This is this boring? It's exciting to me. It's like you have this little bit of time, you've got this little bitty window that you can you can barely maneuver and move and try and get to the thing that's right there. I mean, it's right in reach, you know? Tell you what, if I don't get it on this next one, then I'll leave it. I'll leave it. We'll, we'll go put the flash in there. Flash the window. Just make it go so you, you know, hey, your timer's about to go up. Alright, 
Move forward, move forward, move forward. Click, click, grab. Oh no! It said click to grab. It's close. It was super close. Okay, so let's uh, let's pull this off to the side real quick. Uh, we're gonna hit F1 to exit. Nope, we're gonna hit F2 to exit. Okay, go back over here. We don't need to right click anymore. So we're sleeping for 45 seconds. Um, let's sleep for 44 seconds. Uh, no, let's sleep for 40 seconds. And then we're going to do flash, wind, wind flash, wind flash. Mm. Flashes equals four, delay equals five milliseconds. So, Roblox, and then sleep for five more seconds. So 5,000 milliseconds. And then, and then it does the right click thing. Cool. Cool. Okay. So I'm going to save that. F5 to run. Should we? Here, hold on. F1, F2. There we go. We're, we're going to put a little alert box up here. Uh, MSG box. Uh, flags are zero. Title is the lumber locker. I'm just going to lock her. There we go. And then for the text, press F1 to lock the window, press F2 to exit. The program has begun. I don't know, that's, that's, there we go. Hit F5 and it says, press F1 to lock the window, press F2 to exit, hit, uh, hit okay to begin. Or, the program has begun. Uh oh, what's, what's going on? Are we locked up? Oh, it still had the right click down. Okay, so I had to unclick the right click. That's good. It's bad, but it's good. So, if we jump off and press F1. We're just gonna wait for 45 seconds, see what happens. And then it should go at the 40 second mark. That means I have five seconds left. It might be this little window down here. See this, the, the little thingy? The thing? Oh, by the way, you can't be in full screen mode if you're doing this because you gotta right click on the, the title bar. The title bar has gotta be visible. <clears throat> oh, 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 it flashed. Good, and five seconds later, released. Nice. Well, I think that's it for tonight. So I've, I've given you a little bit of insight. We'll take one last look at that code. It's it's fairly simple. Uh, we do have a, that loop down there. Let me let me get rid of that and let's hit F2 to exit. There is the full code if you guys actually need it. And there's just a comment up there at the top. So at the top we defined uh, hotkey set. F1 key performs the locket function, which is this right here. Uh, hotkey set F2 performs the my exit function right here. And then we do an MSG box says lumber locker folder, press F1, blah, 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 gives you instructions. And then it comes down here. It loads these functions. It doesn't actually do anything with them. And then it says, uh, while true, sleep for a hundred milliseconds and continue. So I think there was supposed to be like a do events or a wait while, win wait, win wait. Is it win wait? Wait, when do events? There's something that I'm supposed to do down there so it doesn't like memory leak of some kind. I don't remember what it is. It's been a long time. Anyhow, what we do from here is we just sleep and we're waiting for those keys to be hit. If we hit F1, it goes MSG box, exiting the program will not exit, and then we send the exit command to the program and it closes. Uh, the locket, we do a win pose equals win get position Roblox. We get the position of the, we get the dimensions of the window itself. Zero is the X position, one is the Y position, two is the width, three is the height. Then we move the mouse to the center of the title bar, and that's done with a simple math calculations right there, uh, X, Y position. Press down on the right uh, mouse key. Wait for four, 40,000 yeah, 40, milliseconds, which is 40 seconds real time. Win flash Roblox will flash the window. 
let the user know, hey, you're about to, to go back. And then uh, we sleep for five seconds and then mouse up, right? Uh, mouse up, we let go of the right mouse thing and then we click in the center of the screen to get rid of the context window. So <sighs> thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lubber Tycoon 2, auto it scripting with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. If you liked this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And let me know in the comments, did you like this? Did you not like this? Kind of testing the waters to see how you feel about lumber and scripting videos or Roblox and scripting in general, because this is not the injection program that will void your terms of service. So, all right. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. Outro. Oh, I forgot to hit the button. There we go. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.